What up? Hey, what's going on? How you doing? Having a good day? You having a good day? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're about to have a better day because we're back with some factory runner today. Crap. Do I have food? Do I have water? Do I have drinks? I think. Uh, well, nonetheless, let's go ahead and we have ten thousand dollars today. So, uh, first things first. Let's like honestly like let's buy some stuff, right? We're gonna buy a couple burgers. We're gonna buy a couple of fries. The reason why I'm scrunching there is because I don't know if they're gonna. Yeah, they just that one just fell. That that. Can I go back there? I'm I'm so sorry, sir. Let me just pick this up. Uh, yeah, grab that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, anyways. It reminds me of a time where I actually, like... I, I was in an earthquake one time. Let me just throw this in the back of the truck here. I don't know why this reminded me of it, but it just did. Maybe it was the music. <laughs> I almost died in a McDonald's. I'm not even kidding. I swear to you, I almost died in a McDonald's. I was caught up in the middle of an earthquake, a very bad earthquake. Like a 7 point, 6 point, 7 point, maybe high 6s earthquake. And um, at the time of my life, during that... Did that just break? Yo, how heavy is that Big Mac, dude? That's incredible. Anyways. Um, you know, you ever hear the phrase like... Uh, what is the phrase? The phrase is... Uh, you know, Let's see. Can I even it out on this side? I don't know. Uh, you ever hear the phrase where it's like, what? What is it? Uh, it's it, everyone hears it. God damn it! Why can't I say it? It's like, um, I don't know. I, I lost it, dude. I got distracted by this damn burger. It's like best timing ever. I don't know. Like worst timing. Uh, best. You know, you couldn't have timed that better. Or it, sh wrong. Pl there you go, dude. I found it. Wrong place. Wrong time. Okay, this truck is at, like, wrong place, wrong time. I just gotta... I gotta fix it. How do I fix my truck? I can't even back up, dude. Okay, we... It's alright. It's okay. It's okay. We can fix this, I hope. All I need to do is make sure to get to... To get to the shop. And and maybe my truck will, like rebound here so how, how do i how do, how do i pull this around here I'm, I'm trying to like find a place to do a nice u-turn this might be the place anyways i almost died in a oh my god i got a piss now oh yeah yeah okay look get get the hell out of the truck this right here that's what's causing the problem fix the problem get in the car okay now throw it in reverse don't hit the tree. Throw it in revert. Get. Look. This is not how I wanted to start the episode today. Very well. Okay. Back to normal. Anyways, I almost died in a McDonald's. It's in a very high earthquake, and I swear to you. Dude, it was lit. It was lit as shit. <laughs> um, I was standing in line with my, and I, I was there with my father, believe it or not. We were down in LA, I think. Were we in LA? We were in like Chino Hills. Anyways, um, let me just like, hang on. Yeah, give me a sec. Uh, we were in like a friggin' McDonald's standing in line, you know. I don't know why we chose to stand in line and not use the drive through Don't ask me that question. But in all honesty, I already knew what I wanted to order. And I did not want to order a semi-truck. Might be like, what? Yeah, so I don't know why this time and why it did what it did. But for some odd reason. Yeah, okay. All right. Um, for some odd reason... Like, I'd never had been in an earthquake that big before, and all of a sudden, the earth... Oh, I have a burger there. It, it, it started like you could hear it come from a distance. It sounded like a semi-truck was coming to demolish the McDonald's I was in. I'm not even kidding. And then before you know it, like, everyone was, like, confused. Like, what the heck is that sound? And then, boom. Disaster struck. It was a very crazy time in my life. 
Um, and everyone was like having a bad time. I mean, you can't say everyone was having a good time, but everyone was having a terrible time. And like the pandemonium, everybody was freaking out. First of all, I don't think anybody was going to agree that they, I, I don't think anybody, if somebody walked in and say, Hey, who wants to die in a McDonald's? I don't think anybody in that restaurant would raise their hand and say, yeah, that I do. You know, I, I think everybody was very pissed off at the moment of time, but, um, hang on a sec. Itch my nose. What the heck? I can move this? This whole time I can move this? Oh my god. Yeah, how may I take your order? Hang on a sec. Insidine or insecti, insecticide and, and railing. Do I have a railing? I do. I do have both of these. Anyways. Um Yeah, so we were like standing in line and then it happened. The earthquake happened, and in the middle of it happening, right? It lasted for some time. And in the middle of it happening. I don't know if, like, the workers had no idea. Like, I don't think they probably, like, did a safety drill of, hey, uh, if there, in case there's an emergency while people are standing in line to order a Big Mac, you know, this is what we're going to do. Get the hell out of my store. Um, yeah, so the first thing they did was nobody go outside. Everybody stay inside. And my first reaction is very simple. First reaction is get the hell outside. <laughs> I don't know. Dude, I'm not like, I don't, where I currently live, I don't, I, I don't live in earthquake city, dude. I don't have to worry about an earthquake coming in and knocking me out on my, on my ass. The only thing I gotta worry about is one, a volcano, two, possible never ending flood due to a damage to our dam, one of the biggest dams in the world. And three, wildfire. So I'm not like, I'm not skilled in the department of, <laughs> of the new, of the freaking boots knocking, if you know what I mean. Like the shaking of the ground, like this is all new to me. So my first reaction was get the hell out of the store. But, you know, these people live here. They, they work at McDonald's. They probably have earthquakes all the time. And their first thought, and their first saying was, stay the hell inside. All right, so so if you stay inside during an earthquake, what options do you have? I mean, you don't have much as, 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 as a, as a freaking um, customer, right? You don't have a lot of options. Really, you don't. Um, you got to hide underneath the, the, uh, under a table, or you have to, like, simply just, like, go up the freaking um, slide. <laughs> I don't know, dude, right? Anyways, um, they told us to stay inside. I say, F that. I'm not staying inside. I ran outside. Um, and the majority of people, I will say, the majority of the people ran outside also. But then there were some people that were listening to the customer or to the to the workers. And they were staying inside. Right? Let me just make it clear, though. Nobody got hurt. At least I don't think. I think maybe the only thing that got hurt was maybe, like, everyone's vehicle in the parking lot. Slightly. But for the most part, I say slightly, but actually detrimental. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyways, yeah, so I don't know. I mean, maybe some people, like, fell and sprung an ankle or they, you know, they, they got a bruise because something fell on them. But, like, I don't know. I don't know where I was going with this story. But it's not like I was trying to, like, prove a point here or anything. I was just simply saying that. Oh, I remember the time that, you know, I almost died in a McDonald's. Now, of course, I, I'm a little exaggerant on that. Of You know, I made it out alive. Hello, how are you? Good to see you, right? I made it out alive. But at the same time, like, I don't know if you were... I don't care about the customers right now. Um, Actually, I do... Cus I, I should probably sh uh, close the shop. Yeah, I should probably close the shop before I leave so that I don't get that minus reputation points. That's a son of a bitch. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Like, if you were ever in, like, if you could ever think about your death, like, where do you picture yourself dying? Like, I know this is deep shit we're about to talk about, but I don't mean to, I don't mean to, like, spark a controversy here. I'm just saying, like, hey, like, do you plan on passing away in your bed? Because sometimes that doesn't work out. <laughs> if so, where are you, where do you want to, like, end it here? I don't know. Let's end it at a McDonald's, you know? I don't know. I, You know, as long as you just, like, throw in 
a large fry, I think I'll be happy with it, but I don't know. I'm an idiot. Okay. So, really, I'm taking advantage. I'm taking full advantage here, as you can probably guess, of this weird stacky stack situation going on here. So, I feel like I can just, like, stack random stuff inside of each other, which is good for me because, you know, I like to go inside each other or I like for things to go inside each other. What? Uh, I like to put stuff in the truck. Yes, this is going to be hilarious. Let's put that up there. <laughs> Hopefully that will be good. Put that up there and then like, I don't know, even put this up here. Come on, come on. Right there. Oh, it goes inside. Great. See, that's exactly what I like. And I'm assuming this goes inside too, right? I wonder if they purposely did this. Like, I wonder if they purposely did this so that people can just like, just get a bunch of stuff. Like, I honestly was not expecting this to be a thing, but here we are, right? Ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Here we go. Good. Let's get inside. Get inside. All right. Very well. I mean, if you could choose... I hate to, like, continue the subject. If you could choose a fast food joint to, like, have your last breath in. I mean, is McDonald's the worst? There, 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 there definitely could be worse, right? It's like... You know, would I want to be in a Burger King? I mean, I, I, I enjoy Burger King, but, like, every Burger King I've ever been to in the existing of Burger King is dirty as hell. So I don't... I, I don't think I want to go there. <laughs> uh, McDonald's has some class to it, but I swear to God, there's, like, some kind of, like, weird ritual going on between the old people. They show up at 5.30 with a newspaper just to have a cup of coffee in the dining room at McDonald's. I don't know if that's like a cultural thing or if that's like a generational thing. Why did I park so far away? Why did I have this customer sitting here waiting for me? Why did he just leave? He, he should have left. Uh, anyways, I don't know if that's like a generational thing. I don't know. Like, I don't know if McDonald's was like a big thing. Well, I mean, obviously it was a big thing, right? But like back in the 50s and 60s, did McDonald's like, I don't know. Did it uh, attract the local like... I see it all the time. Like, I see old people literally going in to, uh, well, I don't see it a lot of time nowadays, but I used to when I had to, like, get up at the crack of freaking dawn, right? Um, I used to see it all the time where, where old people would show up at, like, 5.30. Like, they'd be standing in line for a midnight release. Like, oh, 6 a.m. is when they open up for, for uh for the dining room. Like, they're showing up for a midnight release for a coffee they had yesterday. I never understood it. I, I, I just never did, you know? And um, I don't know if the coffee just hits different. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Or if this is something that they just did, like, you know, in the 60s, in the 70s, you know? Was it was it a common thing for, for these people to come in and, uh, and, and get coffee or to spend their time or to treat the, you know, the occasional... Maybe treat the occasional McDonald's as, you know, a Denny's or an IHOP, you know? I, I I have no idea. But I feel like I'm missing out slightly. And I am a little bit disappointed. Yeah, I will say. I'm a little bit disappointed that I'm missing out. You know? I mean, they show up with their with their newspapers and wanting a, you know, a nice cup of coffee. And I, I don't know. The only thing I got to th think about is... It must just feel so damn good. Like, it just must be the best cup of coffee of all time. What do you think? Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't think I would want to die in a jack-in-a-box. Nah. You know the people that, that, that get those, like, uh, 99 cent tacos, dude? Have you ever ordered a 99... Like, what is it? Like, two tacos for 99 cents or, like... Maybe a taco for 99 cents. You know how, like, Jack in the Box has, like, those Taco Bell deals or, like... Not, it's not even a deal. It was, like, a regular menu thing. Like, at least this was pre-COVID. I don't know about now. I don't I do not do business at Jack in the Box that often. But um, it's the only... Uh, it's actually the only restaurant where I live that's open 24 hours. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, so, I, I mean, I don't know. Like, have you ever, like, bought one of those 99-cent tacos and, like, like, when you pull it out of its little taco sleeve, you know, that little paper sleeve, have you ever just decided to be like, you know what, I'm not going to put this in my mouth. Instead, I'm going to open up and see what's inside of it. 
And if you haven't, I'll say don't do it. Do not ruin anything. <laughs> if you are a diehard taco, you know, taco lover from Jack in a Box, don't do what I just said. Just don't do it. Because I'm sure when you open up that taco, that 99 cent taco, you might not, you might want to spend your 99 cents somewhere else. Maybe at the 99 cent store. Which, hey, that, that's a controversy in its own self. Like, we know the Dollar Tree. You know, anyone that has a Dollar Tree nearby. Like, we, we know the whole controversy. Dude, I'm telling you. You want to upset a generation? You want to upset a generation? I'm looking at the old people right now. I don't, I don't know why I'm taking out on them. If you want to upset a, d a generation, make the Dollar Tree a dollar twenty-five now. <laughs> so I don't know. Most of you guys don't know if you guys know what a Dollar Tree is or anything, but it's it's a store where everything in it is a dollar, right? And it's been like that for decades and decades and decades, and our economy has changed for decades and decades and decades. And let's just say, at least where I live, minimum wage is $15 an hour, right? Give or take. And um, it's actually like other places are hiring for more, but that, I digress. Anyways, let's just say minimum wage is $15 an hour. Dollar Tree is still working at a dollar, <laughs> you know? Like they, they have to sell really like 15 to 16 items just to cover one hour for one employee. Like 15 to 16 items. The reason why people are going to the Dollar Tree is because they don't want to spend $15. <laughs> you know what I mean? So uh, I remember the uproar recently where the, everyone's like, oh my God, you guys are not a Dollar Tree anymore. You guys are literally a dollar twenty-five. You guys said you were going to be four quarters for the entire existence of your company. And now you switched to five quarters. How dare you? We protest. And the reason why I say that is because I said the 99 cent store. Now, I don't know if the 99 cent store has taken any action on that. But to be fair, though, the 99 cent store doesn't just sell 99 cents. It's called the 99 cent store, but you can get stuff in there for like 10 bucks, dude. Uh, they're, you know, they, 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 they cap. They put on a front. <laughs> they say, yeah, 99 cents, only 99 cents. And everything is like way more than 99 cents. Now, Dollar General if you, if you ever heard of a Dollar General, let me move this thing. I don't want this thing here. Um, if you ever heard of a Dollar General, same concept. Like, uh, you can buy stuff for a dollar, but you can also buy stuff for, like, $10. So, it's like a, it's a different scale there. But, when Dollar Tree, in particular, went to uh, four quarters to five quarters, my God. It almost felt like the, the world ended, in a way. So, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to take this time... Uh, since, again, I don't technically need to go to sleep, I'm going to take this time, and I'm going to drive to the truck store. We're going to go there. Now, I forgot where I talked about it, but I talked about Burger King and its French toast sticks. Those are banger. Yeah, those are a bomb. Um, I don't think I would want to die in a Burger King. Don't think I would die in a Jack in a Box. Now, I'm thinking only West Coast here, right? West Coast. So, sorry, Raisin Canes. Sorry, uh... Hardee's, sorry, um, what the hell is on the East Coast? Sorry, uh, Zaxby's, I don't even know if that's a, is that, is that, a, is that technically fast food? Yeah, that's technically fast food, right? Did I go the wrong way for the trucks, for the truck store? Or do I have to continue this road? So, uh, I'm, I'm not, like, putting in those, you know, but, you know, like a Carl's Jr. or like a Hardee's, because they're the same thing, like West Coast, Carl's Jr., East Coast, Hardee's. I would not want to die in that either. <laughs> that's a that's a terrible place. It's a well, every Carl's Jr. I ever been to is very dirty. I don't know. You might be the biggest Carl's Jr. fan or Hardy's fan of all time, but I promise you, it's not what it's all hyped up to be. It's very, very expensive. Why what it is going I want that. How much is that? Can I have this? Can I have this? Give me that. I want that. I don't want a Range Rover, dude. Fifty thousand dollars? Are you out of your mind? Actually, it's not that hard to get. <laughs> but what, what? Why? Why would I need a scooter? What would be the point of a scooter? This map is so damn big. Like, if I'm driving out of town, I'm driving out of town, and oh shit! You all right? I am so sorry. 
That scared the hell out of me. <laughs> oh my god. Holy crap. That was, uh, that, that might not have been loud for you, but that was extremely loud for me, and I got rear-ended by a truck, dude. Well, maybe that was my fault, but I should have looked when I was backing out, but you know what I mean. Now, importing and exporting. What is this all about? Now, I didn't really get into exporting company that often. Uh, importing and exporting, right? Let, let's see here. What, what, what do you have for me? Show me what you got. Show me what you really got. You need to own a truck before signing the contract. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Wish I had a truck. I damaged it, though, back there. $50,000. That's going to be the main goal. Yeah, that's the main goal now. Uh, 50 grand I'm aiming for. And honestly, I don't think it's going to take too hard. Too hard. Too long. Uh, to get there. Because we were already at 10 grand at the start of this episode. Um, I spent 2 grand, which was actually not that lot. Like, we got some pretty big, uh pretty big items for like very less right not, not not for not a lot of money i guess is what i'm trying to say store is about to open it is currently 5 a.m coming in hot watch out so let's go to the store let's get ready let's go eat some food have some juice maybe take a piss behind the you know behind the this over here yeah this and then let's just leave our truck right there everyone close your eyes because it's about to get bad here I've never in my life had ever done public urination. I lied. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You know what? No. I take it back a level. I have done public urination. I've had done public defecation too. And I'm not proud of that last one. Now, it wasn't my fault. Okay, it was slightly my fault. But... I was a child. Does that count? Does that count? I think I was sick. And I went hiking. And um, we went hiking at the ocean. And we were so far into this hike that there was like obviously nowhere to go back. And I was sick as a kid. And I had to, uh, you know. I had to do it. It had to come out. It had to be done. And I did it. On the side of the trail. And I had no toilet paper. Had no toilet paper. I like would like a customer to come through right now. I don't know what time they actually technically come through. So what does my grandmother tell me that I need to do? Well, we have no toilet paper, sweetheart. Take off your shirt. I said no. She says, okay. Take off your underwear. I say no. She says, all right. Take off your shorts. I say no. She says, okay, go over there and grab some leaves. Now, thinking back at it, I don't like this choice that I did, but I said yes. <laughs> I said yes. I said yes. I said yes. I would like to have some leaves on my rectum. Now, they look soft and they look like painless, right? Next thing you know, you had poison ivy in, in your ass. No, no, no. I'm just kidding. I didn't get poison oak. I didn't get poison ivy. That would have been hilarious. Actually, not that funny, but um, you would have understand, right? Like, totally get it. Right? I understand. But that didn't happen. But, I I mean, that's the closest thing that I've done to, like, ever public defecation. Now, that is, like, way, way too much information. I understand that, but... I don't know. At the same time, I, I feel like I feel like somebody's out there that has had a had a problem and didn't mean to do it publicly and they had to do it. But they had, you know, they had no other option and they feel alone in this world. And just so you know, like as the music goes on here. You're not alone. You're not alone. What the hell are you guys playing here? I need more juice. That's why I'm back here. Thank you. Appreciate you. Look at dude. I I got the super size. You got the kitty meal. Nerd. <laughs> you ever watch that show? That super size me documentary? They actually made us watch that uh, in school. I think in high school. Once upon a time when that like when that movie was like newly released kind of like they made us watch super size me. I tell you what. I'm not even like if you've never seen super size me. It might be on like Amazon Prime or something. Go watch it. It's entertaining. 
it's entertaining as hell. And if you don't, if you want to like, like, what is it about? Well, it's very simple. Um, it's like in the early 2000s when nutrition value laws were like non-existent where you could buy a king size or a super size, depending if you were at Burger King or McDonald's. Why is there no customers? Depending if you were, uh, you know, yeah, Burger King or McDonald's, you can get super size me or, 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 um, you know, or king size. And, um, the, the whole point of the movie the documentary is, is, oh, thank God, is that, um, a guy, I forgot his name, but a guy goes and lives off McDonald's for 30 days, breakfast, lunch, and dinner to see how it would affect his, affect his body, right? Affect his body. That shit is entertaining. You want some good entertainment? That's entertaining. I don't know. I don't know why, but I find that entertaining. There we go. So, yeah. If you ever want to see someone, like, eat McDonald's for 30 days straight, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, go watch Super Size Me. Go watch Super Size Me and then never pick up another... Um, what the heck? And never pick up, pick up another... Um, like... Never go to McDonald's again. Because then you figure out, like, then you find out in that documentary how uh, things are, like, made. How things are, uh, like, how the chicken nuggets are processed. Like, we all know, like, chicken nuggets is, like, you know, the bomb diggity, right? But then, like, if you take a deep dive or look into how, what they are, exactly what they are, you're probably like, yeah. But, like, at this point, I'm like... That's still the bomb diggity, dude. Just, like, put some sweet and sour sauce on that. Put some barbecue sauce. Maybe dip it in a little ranch if you're crazy. But that, that's it. That's it, dude. Now, give me more customers. I have a fully stocked store. So this is the problem. My store is ready to go. It's ready to be pounced on. Nobody's pouncing on it. Hello, pounce on me. Hi, how are you? Would you like to order more than just one freaking thing? So safety board and in in uh, insecticide white. Do I have insecticide white? I do. Uh, now, safety board. I am kind of curious on how much the safety board does run for. Let's see. That's for 15 bucks. That's disappointing. Safety board, though. Let's see how much this thing goes for. Wow. Uh, $250. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, it would be cool if, you, like, you know, in Trader Life Simulator where you can have, like, somebody run this and all that. This is my only problem with the... I mean, there's a lot of problems with the game, right? But my big gripe right now is, like, once you do get your store, you know, looking decent, I guess, ish. Um, like, come on, let's go. Like, I'm ready. Let 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 let's let's get the customers coming. You know, let's have them coming fairly quickly. You know, let, let's let's get them in. Right, come on. Uh, I'm not standing here waiting because I I don't want to go and continuously buy stuff that I don't necessarily need. Right, you know what I mean. So. Um, I mean, if anything, I can go break dance for a little bit, but that, even that sounds ri like ridiculous. And this right here, this alone, this game, oh my God, this guy, this game kind of gameplay right here will make you, unless you're a very patient person, will make you probably stop playing the game. 100%. It probably will. EQP and a metal pipe. Do I have metal pipes? Yes, they are over here. Uh, but it will make you start stop playing the game solely because of that fact. Like, it's just because it's like, wow, I, you know, it's taking so long, right? Uh, EQPs. EQPs. I need two of these. Two of those. There we go. And I don't know. Like, if your reputation gets higher and higher, will there be bigger and bigger orders? I don't know. I would like to think so. There you go. $55 for all that? That doesn't even sound worth it, dude. Reputation is still going up inch by inch. And maybe that was, like... Maybe that was the game plan for the dev. Maybe the dev was like, you know what? I want these people to work. <laughs> I want them to grind. That's what, oh, I just knocked over two burgers. I want them to grind so that, you know, they're here a long time. <laughs> just standing around hoping to get $50,000 to, to open up a truck, like, or to get a truck. What, like, what is this camera for? It's not for anything. Get out of here. Can I open up this? Like, I feel like I should be able to open that up. Do I have to only have one or the other open? Is that what it is? Hang on, I'm kind of curious. So if I have that shut, can I open this up? No, it's just a freaking... Okay. Alright. It's just nothing. It's nothing there. It's just a door. Fair. Fair. 
Now I could put like tables out here. Wait, do I have any tables? No, I don't have any tables. Put some tables out here. Have like a little bit of like display in the windows and 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 things like that. But I don't know, dude. It's just this is it. Like this, this is the game, right? Like you can go ahead, like like go ahead and click off the video. Like see ya. I'll see you in the next video, right? But <laughs> top tier gameplay stuff right here, isn't it not? And like the factory cost is gonna cost so much money, you know. It's not like I'm doing things. I, I at least I, I don't think so. Like I'm not doing things wrong here. Like the store is open, customers are not coming. We're at the highest reputation that we've been. That guy just spawned in, right? You know. Uh, there's not a way to make customers come faster. They're gonna come at their own willy and nilly, right? Hello, how are you? White cardboard box and a safety board. So three of those. Hey, that's the first like three order, right? Unfortunately, he ordered something that just is not like, like it's fifteen dollars each, so for like forty-five dollars altogether. There we go. And then what else he wants? He wants a safety board. That's at least gonna give us some good money, yeah. One thing I do really hate is that um, this, the fact that it doesn't save your notes, and the fact that you can't see your mouse cursor. Like, why why can't my notes be saved? Because then I, you know, it's like I'm me trying to remember everything. I have to like use notes in real life. There you go. Probably what you're going to see in this episode is if maybe anything, we go back to 10 grand. <laughs> like we hit our even stride of 10 grand again. And we go back to like, not like we, we didn't gain any ground and we didn't lose any ground. You know what I mean? Anyways. Like this, like, 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 look how spread out everything was. If everything wasn't so damn spread out. I would enjoy, you know, going out and going to, uh, you know, and grabbing some Freddy's shop stuff, you know, but, oh God, what the heck just happened? But, uh, unfortunately, like this road does not go right there. Like this is where we're at. Like, why is there not a back road that just connects to there? That'd be so easy, right? Um, yeah. So once like you do go to Freddy's shop, you definitely got to make it a, um, you got to make it a. You got to make it a trip. You got to make it worth your wild, right? So, Foss bottle and welding machine. Okay. Uh, Foss bottle. Two Foss bottles. How much do they go for each? 15 again. Okay. And it'd be cool if you could, like, have stuff in your store that you cared about. Like, I only sell these things, so you can only buy these things, you know? Instead of, like, having to buy these simple little, like, $15 bottles that sell, you know? But that would make the game too easy, I think. That's like a balancing uh, issue. However, we made it past $10,000. So there's that. And I will drink this. So there's also that. Thank you, Shrek. Um, yeah, so. Hey, we passed 10K. It's just another day. We passed 10K, just another day. And that's what probably be the name of the episode now. We passed 10K, just another day. Now, I don't want to step away because I'm afraid that if I do step away... I'm going to get one customer again. But yeah. Awesome. <laughs> I did not. I'll be real with you. I did not expect this to have such a subtle stop in gameplay. Right? I did not realize it was going to slow down this bad. And this is like drastic. This is like painfully slow now. Now, somebody might have warned me on, like, the first episode we did, but my god, did I not take them seriously. 450 for that. Okay. Two, three flashlights. Like, this is just painstakingly slow. Like, I don't have time for this. I got other videos I still gotta make, you know? <laughs> I don't have time to just wait around and just have you hopefully come in the door, right? Right? And the sunset's nice. Nice sunset we got going on here. <laughs> oh, I think I'm done. <laughs> Let's just go to bed. Just go to bed. 10K, just another day. Hey, we got 10K. But it's just another day. Isn't that funny? You know what? I kind of... <laughs> Let's, let's do it one more time here. Let's do it one more time.
Whoa, 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 I wasn't done. I want to dance more. Yo, you get it, dude. Now, let's do it in front of the audience here. Okay, let's do it inside this guy. We already talked about getting inside each other at one point or another in this episode. That's whatever. Okay, we're done. Like, these gentlemen? Like, what are they doing? All right. Anyways, uh, yeah, so thank you guys for stopping by and hanging out with me today. Um, I know, like, why, right? Uh, but let's be fair here. Uh, come on. <laughs> I'm almost getting bored just standing there waiting for the customers, unfortunately. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for the support and continued support. Thank you, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, yeah, and I'll see you guys in the next video, wherever that may be. And, and do as always. Please, take care. Hey.